All right, forgive my disheveled appearance. I just got in from uh, mowing the lawn. I thought I'd do a quick uh, beer review. I've already poured uh, this beer into a glass. I actually started doing a review, and then my camera fell down, which is always fun, so hopefully it'll s stick around uh, this time. I don't have a person to record, nor do I have a tripod or anything like that. I'm just recording on my phone, like I always have been the last couple of years that I've been doing beer reviews. Um, today we're going to be doing Yards General Washington's Tavern Porter. This is another Ale of the Revolution from Yards. We've done uh, Thomas Jefferson's Tavern Ale. This is an English porter coming in at 7% ABV. We poured it into an English pint glass, uh, as you can see, and it has about a, I would say, a half a head or half a finger of head. Uh, 86 beer advocate score, 85 rate beer score, so very, very similar on both. Uh, and it's a dark beer created with molasses, and it was actually recreated from an episode, or a recipe rather, that George Washington uh, uh, created to satisfy the thirst of his officers. Now, I know a lot of his officers died uh, at Valley Forge. Hopefully it wasn't attri attributed to this beer recipe. I'm sure it was attributed to the cold weather. Um, but that said, it was something that probably saved some lives. Hopefully, let's... Of course, when beer saves lives, we love to hear those stories. Um, got a picture of uh, General Washington uh, on the front as well. It looks like currency, uh, just like the uh, Thomas Jefferson ale. Uh, and uh, we have that very dark uh, pour, kind of a frothy head, as I said, a half a finger of head. I poured it into a Victory Donnybrook Stout English pint glass. And we'll get the aroma now of Yards of General Washington's Tavern Porter. Definitely getting that honey uh, molasses uh, kind of smell to it. Not too much smokiness. I uh, wasn't expecting too much smokiness uh, from uh, this particular uh, recipe, given that the uh, the honey and the uh, the molasses, or the molasses, I should say, would uh, overpower that. But not really getting maybe a very, very subtle hint of malt and very subtle hint of chocolate. So let's get the taste now of yours, General Washington's Porter. Interesting. Uh, definitely getting uh, the molasses in the taste, uh, the smokiness not getting too much of it, and it's a little bland. And it's seven point it's seven percent alcohol by volume, so I'm sure this is a kind of uh, beer that might sneak up on you pretty darn quickly. Um, somewhat of a hint of chocolate in the in the taste as well, but just not a full robust kind of beer to me. Uh, and I don't know whether or not that's a good thing or a bad thing. Um, but I would have to say I'm looking for a little more taste uh, in in a, in a porter, especially for uh, an English uh, throwback kind of porter at 7%. Um, a little more saturation. It's not bad. It's just not not great. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and give uh, General Washington's Tavern Porter a 6.5 out of 10. Uh, as I mentioned, uh, decent appearance. Uh, the smell is very... A little, little subtle and the taste not quite uh, as full as I would like uh, in my uh, in my English porter. Hence the 6.5 out of 10. Thanks.